Hi guys, this is a short tutorial on how to include video files in your Home Inspector Pro report. To do this, we're going to go up to our normal photo section, and we're going to go to the first available slot to add a photo or video. I've already batch added my photographs here, so I'm just going to go to the last tab. I'm going to click on Add Video, and I'm going to select where I have saved that file, and click Open. Now Home Inspector Pro converts the video. The time on this will vary depending on how big the video is. Uh, please remember that we recommend not having a video clip over 30 seconds because we want to keep that video file size down and the overall report size down. Once I've done that, I'm going to select where I want the photo to go. In this case, or the video, excuse me. I'm going to put this under roof and flashing. And I can add a caption. Note that the photo has the word video in the top left. Now this photo right here is the first frame of our video. And this first frame will show in the PDF file until the person clicks on the photograph to turn it into a video and have it start playing. If the PDF is printed out, it's this first frame that actually prints out on a physical hard copy. So it's important that you line up your photo or your camera so that when you, t you record your video it'll, the first frame will actually be what you want uh, to show up in the report. I've seen people also using this trick for the front of the house on the cover page. We'll start off the video with an overall shot of the front of the house and then they'll start panning around and showing the house and talking as an introduction. So just remember that you want that uh, first frame to show up. Um, you want to take the first frame exactly as you want it to appear on the report. Now that I've selected the sections, I can generate the report. I'm going to jump to the roof section. And you'll note right here that this is a video. So I can click it. I can press the play button right here. No ice shield underneath. I can see the sheeting under here. That was a short little video clip from Bob Elliott. Um, we've seen a lot of really, really good uses for video, especially with things like leaks. Um, anything that has motion is really good, but also when you want to have an overview of an area, whether it's a uh, rot underneath the crawl space and it spans a long distance rather than taking five photographs, you can usually pan. Dan, I mean, uh, Bob is showing a picture here of an ice shield that's missing. And so we can watch that. The other cool thing is we can actually right click on it and we can view it full screen if we wanted to, to watch that full screen as well. Uh, the, the photo setting in this report is set to two across so the video takes up the exact same dimensions as a photo would. If it was set to three across then it would be smaller and would again show as a three across too. Uh, another trick you can actually right click and select view in floating window and then the client can actually keep that video uh, open there as they're scrolling around. If you have any questions on how to insert videos, please give us a call or click on help desk or email help at homeinspectorpro.com. Thank you very much.